for the second segment of episode 20, no, 38 of Morning Kickoff, we are going to be talking about Cameron Dantzler. I have talked about Cameron Dantzler and the cornerback group so much on this channel because it's what's holding the Vikings back. What will hold the Vikings back is the cornerback group and the offensive line because they're big question marks. You don't know how they're going to look. They are players that you have no idea about. So I've talked a lot about the cornerback group is what I'm saying. Jeff Gladney and Mike Hughes are now our starting corners, and we don't know how either one of them are going to look. And this is a big problem considering that's one of the most important positions in the entire NFL is cornerbacks. If we don't have good cornerbacks, if we don't have at least decent cornerbacks this year, we can't compete for a Super Bowl. That's how important the position is. Now, our secondary is not ranked at the very bottom, although it sh probably should be. It's not ranked at the very bo bottom because we have probably the best safety group in the entire NFL. Anthony Harris is the most underrated safety and such a good player. Great with his feet, great with his hands. And Harrison Smith does not miss a tackle. Harrison Smith no, is so smart up here and he does not miss a tackle. He knows where to be on every single play. He can read offenses really well. So our safety group and Eric Kendricks are the reason why our our secondary is not ranked very low at all, but when it comes to the cornerback group, because we don't know how any of them are going to look, it's kind of a big question mark for the Vikings. I mean, can are they a competitor for a Super Bowl? We don't know because we don't know how their cornerback group is going to look, but we have very good news. I've been saying that I'm not a fan of the Cameron Dancer pick, although it was a needed pick, so I can't be mad at it. I was saying Cameron Dantzler, I do not think he's going to work in the NFL. He's a lengthy receiver. He... He can move well. He's a lengthy receiver who misses tackles, and that's what you want in the NFL is someone who can make all the tackles and keep with his guy. Cameron Dancer is pretty good at man coverage, though. He, he can do man or zone coverage, which is why it wasn't a terrible pick. I mean, coming in the third round, a lot of people were saying that Cameron Dancer is a steal of the draft for the Minnesota Vikings. I disagree completely, although I did think Cameron Dancer was going to go earlier than that. He is a big, big red flag for every team to use that much of a pick on, which is why... 32 teams passed on him, including the Minnesota Vikings, twice. He could have went in the first round because he gave up one touchdown in Mississippi State of his entire career there. He gave up one touchdown. But that's because people just didn't throw on his side of the field. He was a great corner. But translating to the NFL, I don't see it very well for Cameron Dancer because of the way he's built, because of the way he's he can't tackle. That's very important for every team. Now, Cameron Dantzler, Mike Zimmer has talked on Cameron Dantzler and said that Cameron Dantzler is a present a pleasant surprise or something like that, whatever Mike Zimmer says, during the NFL training camp when it was a pre press conference for it. This is what we need. We need some good news at cornerback for the Minnesota Vikings after losing Trey Waynes, after losing Mackenzie Alexander, after Mike Hughes getting injured every season, our first round draft pick, after losing, who else did we lose? Oh, Xavier Rhodes. Okay, we don't care about Xavier Rhodes anymore. He flopped terrible last season. Still, we took Jeff Gladney. We don't know how he's going to look. He's a starting corner. And on a team that is trying to compete for a Super Bowl, having a starting corner, your two starting corners being players that you don't know how they're going to look is not what you want at all in the NFL, which is why I thought that the Vikings were going to take a corner or trade for a corner in free agency or trade with another team. They did not do so. Instead, they drafted corners many times. Now, right now, our cornerback group is very deep. We have a lot of corners. We have, of course, Mike Hughes, Jeff Gladney, and now Cameron Dancer, who is probably going to be a starting uh, three-corner, slot corner somewhere around there. I'm so happy about this. This is what exactly what the Vikings need. We have not had good news in some time with our Vikings defense, especially at the cornerback group. I didn't want Holton Hill or Chris Boyd to be our three-corner at all. Now, I was saying I don't think Chris Boyd is going to be a playing the cornerback role at all. A lot of people are saying Chris Boyd could be this player that breaks out for the Vikings. I don't see it happening. I don't think Chris Boyd will at all. He's going to be played in special teams. We'll do great in special teams. As well as they drafted a guy named Harris Hand. He's going to be another player that they will use in special teams. They didn't know who this guy was in college, not going to lie. But I looked into more of him, and they're probably going to use him in special teams the way that he plays. I don't see these players playing as corners, really, except for garbage time and other games that don't really matter. So this is so great for the Vikings. He broke a, uh, Mike Zimmer was talking on him. He said that he picked off uh, Kirk Cousins, of course, and he broke up passes against Adam Thielen. This is impressive. Now, is it going to work in the NFL? I don't know because he is going to, you can't base it off of training camp. He will get a contract though. And hopefully, hopefully it will work. He did fall to the third round, and it was a fall for him because he was expected to go sooner. People were saying it a steal. I disagreed. And so did the other 32 teams that passed on him twice. They all passed on him. 
In fact, I don't. if the Vikings didn't need a corner, I don't think they would have went with Cameron Dancer either because of the red flags that he has. So this is really good for our team because this is what we need. We need at least someone who can fill in for Mike Hughes that is not Holton Hill. Holton Hill is not a bad corner. He's a corner that you want to keep on your active roster. But to fill in for Mike Hughes, I don't see them doing that anymore at all. Cameron Dantzler, use him to fill in for Mike Hughes. What We have to assume Mike Hughes is going to go out with the injury again because it's happened every season. And we have to hope that Jeff Gladney also looks good. If Jeff Gladney and Cameron Dantzler looks, I mean, if Jeff Gladney and Cameron Dantzler like, look good, this is a scary team. The Vikings can really compete for a Super Bowl depending on how Jeff Gladney and Cameron Dancer look. Our offense is no question one of the best in the NFL. Our offense is amazing. I mean, we have to look at how Tajay Sharp looks. But outside of that, our offense is great, undoubtedly. I mean, our offensive line has some some big holes. Okay, a lot of holes in the offensive line. But really, you can buy some time. Our tight end group is good enough. CJ Ham is one of the best, probably the best fullback in the entire NFL. Our offense is no question of great we can still get to the passer i mean it's a little bit harder without everson griffin but with afadi with daniel hunter uh okay we don't have mike pierce anymore he left but we can still get to the passer without blitzing although they should blitz more i think that they should blitz harrison smith more they should blitz anthony Barr more. we can still get to the passer is what i'm saying and our secondary looks great outside of corner which is the most important one of the most er, i would say i would say cornerback is the most important position on defense now, of course, getting to the passer is more important than your cornerback group, but really, they're, just about every position could get to the passer, can't they? Yeah, you can use anybody to get to the passer. Cornerbacks are only specific guys who are really good at their job. And that's what is going to hold the Vikings back if it does look bad. If it looks good and Jeff Gladney and Cameron Dentzler look at work and Mike Hughes, we don't know how Mike Hughes is going to look. If these guys all work, I really think the Vikings can compete for a Super Bowl depending on how the cornerback group looks. If it doesn't look good, we can still win the division, but I don't think that we're going to compete in the playoffs at all. Look what happened last season. We were thrown all over. It's scary. Great offense, great roster, amazing coaching staff. That's where you start when you're building a team. These corners look good. Vikings, I think I will pick to make the Super Bowl, and that's completely unbiased. I think that they will, depending on how the cornerback group looks. They're going to be our Super Bowl pick for the NFC. We have to see how the cornerback group is going to look first. Thank you for tuning in to this segment of Morning Kickoff.